Welcome back to the GSN and the Cards franchise. St. Louis, a little bit of a tough spot. Down 1-0. Trying to even the series before shifting to LA for potentially three games. So the Cardinals, this cool and somewhat foggy evening, trying to find a way to get a win. So you can see game one, the Dodgers win 3-1. Not a lot of offense in this one which is actually right up the Cardinals alley. The fewer runs scored, the better odds they have of winning. And you can see the probables in this one. Jack Flaherty against Julio Urias. Flaherty didn't look so good in Atlanta, or versus Atlanta, he pitched game two. Also did not look good in his last outing against the Dodgers, but remember before that, he threw a perfect game. So somewhere in the middle is hoping this is what kind of what Cardinal fans are hoping for. You can see in the first, second batter on base. So after getting a strikeout, Buki finds his way on base. Been kind of quiet to this point, hitless in game one. But later in the first, fly out to left, Tyler O'Neill makes the catch. That one hit, not a bother. As the Cardinals get out the first inning, Without any damage. Julio pitched well against the Mets. Looking to do the same against the Cardinals. Unfortunately for him, Cardinals hitters tend to do better against lefties. And Cardinal fans, again, hopeful that that would be the case. Edmund getting it started early. A double to the left. That's going to get Arnato. A chance to drive in a run after Goldie moves him over and Arenado is going to double to right off the bullpen wall and there you go one out two doubles one nothing St. Louis in the second inning Taylor the backwards K Flaherty's second K of the game Flaherty one two three and he didn't see that a lot in game one one or sorry one nothing St. Louis looking at the hits bottom of the second Yachty looking to get something jump started offensively batting sub 120 unable to do so flies out the center Julio would match with a one two three inning so through two the Cardinals up one nothing top of the third Flaherty still dealing ground out to Arnado by Turner Still scoreless for the Dodgers after three innings, so a full turn through the rotation, or sorry, through the lineup. Only one hit. Bottom of the third, Arenado. He already had an RBI double in the first. Would not get an RBI in this opportunity. Freeman makes the catch. one nothing after three. So again, this is right up the Cardinals alley, low scoring as long as their pitching can get the job done. Flared against Lux in the fifth. Backwards K to this point. Flaherty has been pretty dominant so far. Three hits over five innings. Altogether, he would have seven in his outing. Just what you're hoping for. Bottom of the six, Arnato. Going deep to left. So he had RBI double in the first. He adds to it in the bottom of the six with a solo shot. His third home run of the postseason. First of this series, 369 feet. Cardinals feeling pretty good in the seventh. Alex Reyes in in relief after Steven Matz gets the fly out. So Alex Reyes gets a 1-2-3 inning. Cardinals. Up to nothing. Going into the eighth. Jordan Hickson in relief. One of the few guys has been super reliable pin wise. He did have a save in game one of the NLDS. Hitless through his two postseason appearances. Um, well, maybe not there. He hit Gavin Lux. Carp. A play deep in the hole to save a runner. So two outs, thanks to that play, instead of first and second with uh, one out, 
Look at Kurt. Not the greatest fielder. Not even his primary position. But good throw by Matthew. And there goes out number two. Hicks trying to get out of the inning. Mookie Betts coming to life. Already had two hits in the game. Here would be his third. RBI double. Cuts the lead to 1-2-1 one. One game. The eighth inning. A little bit of trouble. Freeman gets walked. So Hicks having some issues. Cardinals stick with him. One strike away from getting out the inning. And Lux drops one down the left field line. That's going to be a double. That's also going to tie the game. So Mookie scores 2-2. Two -two. Still with two outs. Hector Nair is in. Just trying to get that final out. Going righty-righty. Just trying to get out the inning for St. Louis. Gallegos was waiting in the wings off not to go with him. Will Smith singles up the middle. That will give the Dodgers a lead. And they're going to send Lux. Not sure why. Or sorry, Muncie. Lux would score. Muncie gets thrown out at home. So, big inning for the Dodgers. They plate three. They take the lead. We know the Dodgers are capable of this. Edmund. One, two, three inning. Hudson quickly dispatches the Cardinals in the bottom of the eighth. Momentum shifting. Going to the ninth. Blake Trinan got the save in game one. He did walk two batters. So the Cardinals hoping to find a way to get a run off of him to at least tie the game. Goldie 2-2 two, two count. Couldn't hold back. He's out. There's out number one. Nolan Arenado, the hero for the Cardinals in this game. Couldn't hold back as well. Two outs. Pools. One, two count. At least he made contact. But it'd be a fly out to shallow right. That's what the catch. The Dodgers score three in the top of the eighth inning. Not a ton of offense in this one, but it all came in one inning for them. They take the lead late. They hold for the win. No runners reach base for the Cardinals after that, so clean eighth and ninth. The Dodgers up 2 nothing. The Cardinals have got to find a way to at least win two games in L.A. One won't be enough. The series has to come back to St. Louis for them to win. Question for the Cardinals. Who do you pitch in game three? Do you go with Wainwright, the vet? Or do you go with Jordan Montgomery against the lefties? We'll find out. Next episode, Cardinals have to have this game.